Nigerians have no fear. Nobody is too big for Nigerians to humble. Nobody is too strong or too powerful or too influential for Nigerians to humble. See, eh, if you do anyhow with Nigerians, you will collect anyhow. I still wonder why people are still making a mistake. See, the last people I can ever do anyhow with is Nigerians. You see, one of my Nigerian brother yesterday, he was he said something to me. I'll tell you about it. But for now, let me introduce the topic. Make I not just start. You see, there's a UK journalist that just decided to sit and, re and release one terrible information about Nigerians. You understand? The UK journalist just on his own, who just sit. Everybody they see Nigeria finish. I don't understand. Everybody sits on their corner when they feel like they want to open their mouth and say anything. We, you know, everybody wants all rubbish. Now Nigeria, the person will use. Why? Why? I see why Nigerians are so defensive. I see why Nigerians don't, don't hesitate to give anybody wutu wutu. I see why. Because of this kind of journalist, this kind of people. You will just sit on your own. And just decide to pick up your pen, take your TV, go to the station or whatever, or go to the internet and type anything rubbish about a Nigerian. And you think you will go free. I love Nigerians for this. They have to step it up so that by the time anybody wants to say anything about Nigeria, the person will be careful. This UK journalist just got up and wrote one. Look, I will explain to you the story, but you can see the headlines. UK journalists reduce Nigerians to that level. That was embarrassing. When I saw this story, I said, no, I cannot avoid this one. I cannot avoid. And Nigerians, please, I beg. I don't, know the, I don't know the name of the journalist. But if you know this journalist, we will do more research on this journalist. If you know him, Nigerians need to visit this UK journalist more. Many Nigerians are already visiting him, giving him wutu wutu. But we need more Nigerians to discipline this, this UK journalist. You cannot say this about a Nigerian. You cannot. Who gives you the audacity? How can you reduce Nigerians to that level? Nigerians need to visit this UK journalist more and give him the, the taste of Nigerians. He needs to know who be Nigerians. He needs to know. So this UK journalist just get up, come online. Say, a Nigerian in Egypt. Oh, more, oh, more, oh, more, oh, more, oh, more, oh, more. God have mercy. A Nigerian in Egypt. It's not even saying Nigerian in America. Nigerian in Europe or UK. Or so one, one country that is worth it. One country that you feel like, oh, it's worthy for a Nigerian to go there and even, you know, struggle and take risks. Because Nigerians are risk bearers. I totally agree. Nigeria fits sell kidney. I know for sure. Nigerian fits seller. You understand? But not the way this man said it and not this kind of level. It's impossible. It's impossible. I know Nigerians can do. There are things Nigerians can do because, I mean, they can give out one kidney, get their billions of dollars and enjoy the rest of their life. They can do things that are far bigger than that one. I know. Because they have the courage, they have the audacity, they have the mind. Nigerians want to live well, they want to be successful, they want to spend their time on earth enjoyably. But you will not say that a Nigeria in Egypt, Egypt that don't even have their own to eat. What can Egypt afford? That a Nigeria in Egypt sell their kidney for second-hand laptop. As a Nigerian, just listen to this kind of thing about a Nigerian. You don't even need to know the Nigerian. When you hear this kind of thing, how do you... Or inst I, I'm, I just felt instantly offended. Yeah, I just felt instantly offended when I read this thing. Yeah, because it was, it was just the height of the disrespect for me. It was just the height of it. For second-hand laptop. How much is laptop that Nigerians are producing? You see, it has gotten too far. Yeah, it has got it has really gotten too far. And Nigerians really need to do something about this. The disrespect on Nigeria is going too far. And Nigerians cannot continue to sit quiet and take this. You people cannot. You cannot. It's just not acceptable. You cannot reduce Nigeria to this. How much is laptop? Sec talk less of second hand used laptop. Used laptop. How much? How much is it? Let's discuss now. That in Nigeria, we, you know how much is one. Now, this thing this journalist is talking now, they need to just go and investigate the journalist. Let the journalist bring us that hospital and they tell us how much is kidney in that hospital. Because uh, this one, eh, I know just like come at all. When I see this thing, I was not very, very happy. And you know me now, I can never be quiet anywhere I see Nigeria being disrespected. That one is already something that I have made up my mind. That's the, how I will live the rest of my life. I will never sit anywhere, not even by my own Cameroonians. Those who are beside me know that I don't allow anybody around me disrespect Nigerians because I know what Nigerians mean to Africa. I know what Nigerians mean to black people in general. I know what Nigerians mean to the world. 
I know. I know what Nigerians mean to the black race. If you know it the way I know, you will never allow anybody to disrespect Nigeria. You will never allow it. So that's why you see when I saw it, ah, oh, I was offended in my spirit. I said to myself, no, 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 no. I need to talk about it so people can visit him. People need to visit that UK journalist. Because they have made it a habit that every time they will just talk anyhow about Nigeria. Every time anybody will take, go to the radio, pick up their pen or go to the internet and post whatever they wish to post about Nigeria and go free. Can anybody say this about a UK citizen? Can anybody say this about an American citizen? No. Oh. But it's Nigeria, everybody mouth go sharp. Everybody mouth go sharp to come and talk. Nigerians need to really stop this. I believe that they need to use this British journalist as an example to any other journalist or media personnel that sits and talk. South Africa is gradually learning. This UK journalist also needs to learn. They need to give him wutu wutu so that he will respect Nigerians and Africans. They see Finnish not too much. Nigeria is the only one defending Africa. Nigeria is the only one protecting the image of Africa. Nigerians are the only one making Africa look like a country or a continent with value, with standards, with people that can compete on the world stage in every sector. Every, I mean, every sector, intellectually. Intellectually, Nigeria outperforms every other country. If it's academics. You understand? So, this is why I love Nigerians. I love how they are already giving the man wutu wutu on the, the post. The man the, is already getting reaction before this thing is coming out. Nigerians are already giving the man wutu wutu, telling him that you should not look down on Nigerians. You can never talk about my country people the way you just did. It is a beautiful thing. Africans need to learn. One, boy, one guy told me that Nigerians would rather talk bad about their country than watch another human being or a foreigner talk bad about their country. That is how I love it. Eh? Let Nigerians be the one criticizing their country, talking how it is, it's not good, it's not okay. You other people, don't join them. Just respect yourself and say nothing about Nigeria. Because if you say it, they themselves will visit you and correct you. That's Nigeria for you. It is what it is. Your boy, Ajay Max, on this one again. Smash the like button, smash the notification bell. Come back anytime you're free. Because if any updates, I will be definitely bringing it to you guys. God bless you all. Cheers.